Hey everybody, it's Andy with LightenUpAndShoot.com and today for Two Minute Tuesday we're going to learn how to use the liquify tool to change facial expressions. Now don't get me wrong, Brian's photo here, he's got a pretty nice smile but I just like it to be a little bit stronger, like if he was a little bit happier. So what I do is, I use liquify, which is most commonly used to make people skinny, I'm actually going to use it to make him smile. Now check this out. The first thing I always do is make a copy of the background layer, as you can see here, and I do that by selecting the background and hitting Control J or Command J on a Mac, and it's actually going to create a new layer or a copy of that new layer. I then go up to Filter, go to Liquify, and my Liquify dialog box is going to open up. Now, I have a couple tools here on the left-hand side, and I really don't have time to go over all of them in this quick two-minute tutorial, but the ones we're going to focus on is this forward warp tool, and the shortcut is W, and what that is, is actually you just click and drag, and you're going to see that it's going to push the pixels in, okay? Control Z or Command Z to go back, and then this little twirl tool, this twirl clockwise tool, if you, the secret to this tool is actually just clicking and holding. You click and hold, click and hold. And then it'll actually twirl whatever you need it to twirl. If you need it to go the other way, you're just going to hold the Alt key and you're going to click and twirl, click and twirl. Okay? All right, so let's get started, guys. So we're going to choose this forward warp tool. We're going to make sure that my brush is a lot bigger than the area I'm going to push. For example, if I have a very small brush and I'm trying to bring these these lips up, all it's going to do is it makes makes it going to look like I'm just smudging everything everywhere. So what I need to do is make sure that my brush is really big. I'm going to choose about 900. This is all going to depend on the resolution of your image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little area from here. You see it's like the little crease on his cheek and I'm just going to push up. Okay? Like if he was really smiling. And I'm going to take this area over here with his cheek, and I'm going to push up. And the reason I'm using such a big brush is because I want it to look smooth, and I want it to push the cheek up into the eye sockets, I guess you could call it, uh, to make it look like he's really smiling. All right, and now I'm going to do is just polish this off a little bit, fix that. I'm also going to fix his nose up a little bit by just clicking and dragging and just use very small strokes all right guys i don't want you to go too crazy because then you're going to get uh these weird patterns or these weird facial expressions that don't look natural all right let's just push in a little bit over here to make them a little bit skinnier just a little little tiny bit all right and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this twirl tool and i'm going to try to fix this eye a little bit okay it's just droopy uh, it's just drooping a little bit too much to the left. So all I'm going to do is click once. Click. All right. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other eye. Click. Uh, but I'm going to hold the Alt key. That way it turns the other way. All right. And now his eyes are a little bit more even. What I can do is go back to my uh, forward warp tool. And now with a little bit smaller of a brush because this is actually going to the I can just bring up that eye just a little bit more. All right. Bring up his nose just a little bit. Probably bring this up a little bit down here. And I'm doing very small strokes, remember, guys. Okay. Once I'm happy with that image, all I do is click OK. Photoshop will think. And there is my final product. Let me show you the before and the after. Before grumpy brian happy brian and the after all right guys go experiment liquify is a little bit uh hard to get used to just practice 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 the secret like i told you guys is to use big brushes uh so that you get these smooth pushes of pixels for lack of better words and then um your facial expressions should get much much better for all those grumpy people out there this is andy with lightenupatshoot.com over and out